that right there is the very first piece of analog equipment for the new studio. I still need to build the desk, still need to build the floor. Everything around me is just here for test purposes. I did the first frequency response measurement yesterday, just with the absorption in place, but still in the packaging. The next week is just like filling all of these boxes, fabric and the floor. That's, that's the big main thing for today. So the floor of the studio is maybe the most complicated part because we had to calculate every square centimeter how much pressure will be on it. The walls weigh 100 kilograms because the ceiling is also on top of the walls. So they need this kind of pad underneath. This is as wide as the walls, 40 centimeters of absorption. And three of these go underneath every absorber and will help to dampen and acoustically isolate the entire room within a room. This entire build, just to make it clear, is not like the standard procedure of how to build a room within a room. There are like really, really professional studios where they get like metal springs. The Noisia studio in Groningen actually did that. They have metal springs on top of that, like um, concrete, 20 centimeters. They have to absorb 70 tons. The studio right here is just four. And this right here is something called Zulomer. It's from Austria, a company, only they make it. It's patented, no one can fake it, copy it. And it is by far the best material to go into your studio for reducing sound. Like it's the best for the floor to shock absorb it. It is the best to put underneath speakers. It is used a lot. It's unfortunately quite expensive. Like all of what you see here is like a thousand bucks. Each of them just like two euros, which isn't a lot if you just need four of them for your speaker. But if you put your entire studio on top of it, it gets quite expensive. Why am I doing this? A lot of people ask me, because first of all, we don't have any neighbors around the studio. So I can be as loud as I want to. I don't need to sound isolate and soundproof the studio which is usually the most expensive part. I started to think about a second floor just to put the cables underneath because I want to make the studio cable free. I'm just obsessed with it. I know I'm crazy, but that's like the main reason why I started thinking about putting in a second floor. Just to get like this little space, maybe four or five centimeters thick underneath of the studio for the cables. And then to raise it, I need something to go underneath. And I was checking online for like little rubber feet. And they're almost as expensive as this stuff and they're acoustically doing absolutely nothing. So I upgraded to this right here. And if I ever move the studio, again, this is like fully modular. You can take it apart and take every one of these blocks with you quite easily. If I ever move somewhere else, I can then just soundproof the entire thing 100% by just like putting some sealant material in between of those blocks and the floor will be already floating. There is also another reason right underneath of this is our office. I have three people working there and this will also help to dampen the sound even a little more. Those are the main reasons. I would have loved to make the floor even thicker with absorbing material, but then I'm losing too much of the height inside the room and I also don't want to have like a very, very, very low ceiling. But yeah, that's the reasoning behind why I'm doing it. Mostly to hide the cables, shock absorb the entire studio, isolate it a little, because we're having train tracks outside. This stuff will make sure that none of the vibrations of the trains and also of the guys like moving the steel outside because we're in an industrial harbor area. This will be gone. And all of what you see here is a big puzzle. Like these go underneath inside, these go underneath the walls, and these go underneath of the speakers because they weigh at the end with the wall and all of the like concrete underneath of the speakers, um, 700 kilograms each. So these are extremely, like not squishy and these are quite squishy and the yellow ones are really soft. 
so far the floor the most complicated aligning all of these pads and the yellow pads and the pink pads and all like I have to have the right distance to each other and then the wood on top in two layers and I'm very happy to announce that just one layer of wood already it's like really stable it's not bouncing at all so it's it's working the second layer will make it even more stable and yeah more more puzzling for for the next couple of hours Welcome to the new studio. Hi, you're so sweaty. Yeah, it's a lot of work, you'll see. I have to be honest, the floor by far the hardest. Maybe even a mistake, maybe overkill. I maybe regret it. Will I ever do it again? Probably not, but go into, because there will be two layers. Go into the second one. This is harder. Yeah. But still you have it's a it tiny bit bouncy, like but go on this one. This one is even more stable. Be careful. It's not fixed yet. Like you will have like a tiny bit, you'll feel it, but it's stable enough to walk on it. You're my favorite freak. Yeah, I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm still happy that I made it. I'm still happy that it's here and I will finish it, but I underestimated the work, especially doing it alone, aligning the plates really hard, but tomorrow there will be more people in the studio and maybe Vanessa will help me now for one hour. Probably not. I'm also tired. We'll just... Dinner? That's it? I was a babysitter for the whole day. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, carrying a baby. Training. Um, anyways, tomorrow another vlog. Or maybe let me share really quick how, how I did this actually. So the yellow blocks are round because they go underneath of the wall. Those ones in between every 30-40 centimeters. And then two... Like this one is the first that I just fixed. Two layers and the second two layers are in. It's extremely, extremely stable. And the rest of the studio looks again really, really messy. Anyways, that's it. Tomorrow, another day continuing with all of these blocks.